Still struggling to write the code in Python? I can surely help you. But first, I need to put this camera down. This is heavy. I need to find my tripod. Okay, so here's the deal. I was getting bored here and I wanted to do something much more productive. So I thought let's start a unique series on Python. Now what's going to be unique in this series is we will not follow the, the normal routine structure like learning about the loops, function, anything like that. And if you are a beginner at that level, don't watch this video. This is not for you. This is more about practicing, but of course from a beginner's level. So I'm going to be talking about installing the Python and choosing a right editor for that. And then just direct then we'll be learning about tackling down the problem, how the solution is being built for a particular problem. And of course, we're going to have a ton of fun with the Python. So falling back onto my regular stuff, this is not like that about how I'm going to be talking about each and every stuff like uh, loops and functions. No, I'm not going to be talking about that. Rather, I'll be moving and uh, taking steps onto one more level. And I'll be talking about how the levels are being built up. Like for example, I, when I do have a problem, how I do, how do I read that? How do I write a pseudo code for that? And how I actually write a Python code for that. This is going to be fun. And by the way, we'll be using Python three for this entire upcoming few videos. And I think this is going to be much more cool. I have a lot of uh, problem sets, which I have already built up and this is going to be super cool. So I think it's really excited. So let's go and move on and try to install the stuff. Let's go here. Hey there, everyone, and welcome back here. So we're going to talk about, first of all, the installation of the Python and why I'm using the Python version 3 and the my choice of editor, which editor I'll be using. If you want to follow along with me, then it's fine. Otherwise, if you already have a favorite editor, then it's pretty cool. You can just work on with that. So. Here is the website which we all know and which we all love, python.org. And we're going to be moving on to the download section, but obviously the debate comes here, the legendary debate about Python 3 or Python 2.7. Now, Python 2.7 is really awesome. I loved it. I loved it. And uh, I actually learned everything on the Python 2. Now, the shift from Python 2 and on 3 is pretty easy. There is not much that you need to bother about. And it's much more object oriented. And the most important part in the future, Python 2 is not going to be supported yet. Uh, only about uh, two or 3% of the packages really need to move from two to three. But uh, right now, currently I can say that almost all packages uh, have been shifted to Python 3. So obviously it makes a good choice to download the Python 3. I have already got it downloaded on my system and I'll be installing it in a second. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Now. For all the Mac and Linux users, you also need to install the Python 3. Your system ships in default with the Python 2, but we'll be using Python 3. This doesn't mean you need to uninstall the Python 2. If you will do so, you may corrupt your system. In the Linux and Mac, there are a lot of files and systems which are dependent on the Python 2, so you should not do that. And for the Windows users, there is no such problem. It doesn't ship in with the Python, so you, you have to download this. It's pretty simple install. For the Mac, it's going to be a PKG file. For the Windows, it's going to be EXE. Double click, yes, yes, I agree, and stuff. So let me quickly install the Python and then I'll talk about the editor itself. In the meantime, it will install. So here's the Python installer for me. I'll just hit continue, continue, I agree. Pretty simple installation. We are all pretty solid in that. Continue. And installation, install, it's surely going to ask me for the password. I'll enter my password and there we go. So pretty simple installation, nothing much to be bothered about. But the next point that comes up is which editor should I be using? And as I always say, while you're writing scripts or you're writing programs for HTML, PHP or anything, you should definitely spend some time in finding about what's the best uh, editor being available. So let's close this guy first of all. Now for the Python, there is not much of the abundance, although it's very favorite language to most people, but still not much of them are out here. The one option that we do have is a PyCharm and it's available for free as well as for the paid. The community edition is free, but if you need more full-fledged environment, then for sure you can go for the paid version as well. It's completely about what you pay, what you get pretty solid. But I have something interesting for you and I have been using it for a lot of development recently and that's Atom. By the way, if you haven't watched this video yet, go ahead watch it. It's damn hilarious. 
So you, what you need to do, it's basically a text editor, but the, as they say, it's a hackable editor. So I loved it and I'll show you in a minute why. So go ahead and download it. If you uh, want to follow along with me, I'll be using Atom throughout this particular video series. So uh, let me just launch up my Atom. Where are you? There we go. There we go. This is our Atom that we will be using. Now at first glance you might see that this is not something that we want to use. This is basically an HTML or PHP editor but wait a second. So uh, let me save this file and I'll be calling this as simply test.py just to simply do a test. And I'll be writing a simple Python code here and that's going to be simply print and our customary hello world. But nowadays the customary is actually the to-do list but let's just say we have this. And I'll save that. Now you might want to run this and you might be saying, hey, now we need to open up the terminal, run it from there. But wait a minute. I do have this terminal here at the bottom inside the editor. Now the color is customized as well. And what I can do is I can simply say uh, Python, uh, I guess three, yep, Python three. And I can simply run it with uh, test.py. And there we go. It says, hello world. We'll look out for the syntax and everything later on and we'll be solving a tons of problems here. But I think this is pretty cool. But you might be asking how I did that. So let's go on to the uh, this guy and look for the packages, which packages actually I have installed. So I'll go into the preferences and the packages and especially the package that I have installed, it's loading up, uh, is actually, where are you? The one is the autocomplete for Python. It needs an update. I'll do it in a minute. Uh, and the one which is Platformio IDE Terminal. That's the one package that I have installed. Now, this is a super cool package that gives you a terminal here and it has got a lot of settings and it will open up the terminal inside the directory wherever you are. So there are a lot of options. You really need to check out those. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. There are a lot of default colors that you can go for and if still you find that there is no default color that I am liking it, you can actually change that. So what they give you here in the theme section, they give you this uh, particular CSS by which you can change actually all the things like you want to change the background color or for the selection or for the terminal, uh, you can do so. And it's actually my customized color that I've been using. It's, it's pretty good for the teaching purposes. So where do you have to paste this code? So just copy this and look for the CSS, the style sheet here it says, uh, style sheet, just open it up. And why are you not opening up? There we go. And all you need to do is you can paste down it here and can choose your customized color. I have chosen the background color as green and the background color is uh, black for the selection and for the terminal cursor it's black. So that's why you see the black and it's pretty much uh, taking the attention here. So that's why I'm using it. By the way, if you want a little bit more hacking you want to do, or not sort of hacking, but your customization you can do for the tree view, for the text editor, it's, I love this editor. I used to be a big fan of the brackets, but recently I've shifted on to the Atom, I loved it. So this is all the setup that I really wanted to talk. Apart from this, there is not much to talk here because we'll be dealing directly with the problems. So I think everybody is happy with the setup that I have right now and let's move on. And from the next videos, we are going to be talking about the problems. Let's go there.